Hi students, coming to the next topic that is a size matrix. So size matrix means we have to calculate the size of the program and the size of the process what we are using in the product. Okay, so actually the size matrix allows for it allows for estimation effort estimation effort time scale time scale and uh, total number of falls and total number of falls so the size matrix allows for estimation effort time scale and total number of falls that the process consisting of so actually this is, it is critical and difficult area of project planning when compared to others estimation is where estimation of size if you want to estimate the size of a product it is somewhat very critical and difficult area of project planning there are some common methods common methods for size estimation so we'll use some common methods for size estimation of a process or a product so the size uh, the common methods is the one thing is the line of code that is loc and uh, functional count functional count fc so these are the two common methods that are used for size estimation now let us see the first thing that is the line of code what how we are going to calculate the line of code and what is the use of this line of code let me explain that the first common method first size estimation is line of code actually the line of code is any line of program if you take any program text uh, that is not a comment or a blank you are not included the comment of a comment or a blank regardless of number of statements on the line suppose if you are writing some program so in that program you have to calculate the statement steps first step main uh, bracket second third like that so you have to exclude all the comments and the blank spaces and the rest of the lines uh, the total number of lines that it takes to complete the program that you call it as a line of code let me write that point line of code is any line of program text that is not a comment you have to note down that that should not be a comment you you can't count the comments and the blank spaces so exclude the comments and blank spaces blank lines regardless of number of statements on the line so you have to just calculate the number of statements on the line okay so this spe uh, specifically includes all lines containing uh, it includes it includes all lines containing so you have to calculate uh, count the program headers program headers and declarations declarations that you are using uh, in the program and executable and non-executable statements also executable and non-executable statements so ex except the uh, comments and the blank space you can count all the statements that are present in the uh, program so that uh, the count is called it as a line of code so what, uh, before going to know uh, see the example now let us see the advantages and disadvantages of using the line of code advantages so it is for using line of size estimation we are using for we are using line of code for size estimation if you want to calculate the size of a program you better calculate the use a line of code so that is one of the advantage and it is very easy to count sorry easy to count and calculate from developed code so already developed code you have to be calculate the line of code so it is easy to count and calculate from developed code now let us see the disadvantages of using this so what are the disadvantages um, line of code is language and technology dependent language and technology dependent 
and uh, one more disadvantage is bad if you use a bad software design this bad software design may cause excessive line of code obviously if you use a bad design of uh, bad software design the uh, statements the programming statements will be increasing whenever the statements are increasing the line of code will be increasing so this leads to a if, the, if you use a bad software design it may cause excessive line of codes so those are the advantages and disadvantages using line of code now let me explain a small example here uh, i'm going to write a a simple program so I can write here so in this program we have to calculate the line of code just uh, I'm writing the numbers here hash include stdio dot h second int f int value I'm declaring the global variables three now writing the main program four open braces 5 int scan xy two variables i had taken scan f percent and percent x okay in the seventh statement i'm just calling the function function call it is a comment x is augmented here eighth statement just i'm calling the function y is equal to f of x is a function call after the function call, I have to print the value. 10, return 0, 11, uh, close bracket. Mm -hmm. And coming to the 12, because I had to write the function call also. 12, function definition. So here I am calling the function, so I had to write the definition for that uh, call. Definition the value is parameter 13th statement that is a uh, int f int val 14th statement open break bracket 15 int k declaration 16 k is equal to 2 into val minus 3 means some function i have written i am calling that function 17th return k 18th close bracket so this is a program so this is a simple program means just i'm calling the function uh, so here this is a function calls whenever i call the function the program jumps to here and execute this code again it prints that value and the return so here the main thing is not the logic not everything the main thing what are the lines of code here what is the how many lines of codes are present in the program so the total lines of code here are total it is 18 here so the lines of code is 16 why i am taking 16 instead of 18 because because i have to be excluded the comments this is one comment and this is another comment if you exclude these two statements okay then the total number of lines of code is 16 okay so in the 18 if you minus 2 you'll get the 16 so this is how you are calculating the lines of code thank you